Hello and welcome back to Let's Mage Dragon Age Origins with Imitok55 from Dot Alpha. Yeah, um, the last time we took care of, um, Aldred. Yeah, that's what he was called. And we escaped the dream. This was both in the same episode, if I'm right. Anyways, let's talk to the first enchanter, Irving. Omega, I'm too old for this. Irving, are you alright? I've been better, but I am thankful to be alive. I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Wynne? I wasn't alone. I had help. I was surprised to see you standing there, but I am glad you have returned. The Circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come. The Templars await. We shall let them know that the tower is once again ours. Um, very well. Lead on. I'll need you to guide me down the stairs. Ugh, curse whoever insisted the Circle be housed in a tower. <laughs> At least he's still got a good humor. Um... So yeah, it'll probably be read the next dialogue in a second now, so... Irving? Make us breath. I did not expect to see you alive. It is over, Gregor. Aldred is dead. Aldred tortured these mages, hoping to break their wills and turn them into abominations. We don't know how many of them have turned. What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course he'll say that. He might be a blood mage. Don't you know what they did? I won't let this happen again. I am the Knight Commander here, not you. Well, what does the Knight Commander think then? We have won back the tower. I will accept Irving's assurance that all is well. But they may have demons within them, lying dormant, lying in wait. Enough. I have already made my decision. Thank you. You have proven yourself a friend of both the Circle and the Templars. I have resolved the duty, as you said, you owe me. I promised you aid, but with the circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. You mean the first enchanter? Yes, Irving. For now, I will have to oversee a sweep of the tower. There may be some survivors, and we should do our best to tend to them. Please excuse me. And Irving, it is good to have you back. Ah. I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. So, um, I've t uh, locked into some... Here we oh. are, the tower in disarray, the circle nearly annihilated. Oh, it could have been much, much worse. I am glad you arrived when you did. It's almost as though the Maker himself sent you. It was merely coincidence. From what Gregor said, it seems that you came here seeking allies. The least we can do is help you against the Darkspawn. I would hate to survive this only to be overcome by the Blight. What about the tower? Don't you have to stay here? We will do what we can for now, but if the blight spreads, the tower itself will be lost. Stopping the blight is more important. You have my word. As first enchanter, the Circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. Irving, I have a request. I seek leave to follow the Grey Warden. Wynne, we need you here. The Circle needs you. I appreciate the sentiment, Irving, but the Circle will do fine without me. The Circle has you. This man is brave and good, and capable of great things. If he will accept my help, I will help him accomplish his goals. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna take the two. 
I would be honored to have you join me win. You were never one to stay in the tower when there was adventure to be had elsewhere. Why stay when I can be of service elsewhere? Then I give you leave to follow the Grey Warden, but know that you always have a place here. There is much to be done here, and I must go. You must forgive me for not being a proper host. Goodbye for now. When the time comes, we will stand beside you. So what I was talking about just before the conversation, um, as I looked into some older episodes, I still have three, ep three episodes that aren't even rendered yet, so yeah, but this is a new recording, one week later, well whatever. Um, what I mean is, I do have watched two episodes up to 16, into some of the newer ones uh, that I just recently uploaded, and I'm sorry about the inconvenience with the voice volume, because I really thought it was a pain to watch those episodes, because I didn't, it seems like I didn't check my mic before I didn't do a mic check. Uh, yeah, because of that I must have had the, had my mic like I do when I talk in TeamSpeak or something like that. Anyways, um, sorry about it. And yeah. For now I'd say I've been there. I could go to Ben Lawrence Lands. Hmm. Actually, I will just return to camp as the first thing to do and start recording some the blight how will you end it the conversation stuff was what I wanted to say we have to fight the arch demon is that all it is surrounded by an ocean of darkspawn how will you reach it if you reach it how will you slay it you say you are a gray warden I have heard stories of this order Wait, you doubt I'm really a warden? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the wardens. So far, I am not impressed. I'm not here to impress you, you know. Evidently not. It remains only to see what you are here for. So, stand up proofs. Okay, um... So I'm gonna make a cut since I'm gonna turn those conversation things into a different kind of episode. So, like special or something like that. Because I don't want this to take so much time in the LP, so see you in a second. Okay, so we are back in the cycle of Magi, um, which is because of the, of the summonings. Um, they get started up by the summoning font, and I will start with the first sequence. This will start off with the summoning font, then the tomes of split personages. Um, let's see, um, tome of split personages, over there. Then the first summoning. It's done. And a garnet. Um, I need to say I've done this thing before. I've done the wool thing before without any help. So, yeah, I, now I'm doing it. Yes, of course. With a guide, because I don't want to use all the time I have again. Anyways, the second one is the wool. Broader comers uncoming calling. Over there. Mm. The second one is the statue. That would be over there. Yeah. Okay then. Um summoning the second. 
This was with the pickpocketing. Yes, um, that's why I'm playing Liliana. Because I need to pickpocket something from him. I don't know what it was. Um, but I think it was something imp something important. What does it say? Okay, for a random item. Um, so it's exactly the opposite of what I thought. An important I item wasn't really that precise. Anyways, um, the third sequence. I'm gonna make a cut for that. Okay, the third sequence. Starts off with the summoning font, of course. Uh, then the Alvon's Grand Bizarre then the common table carving spot which should be all the way over there yeah yes of course as the third thing the spiritum over there spiritum ether I'll do the fourth one would be the statue again. And afterwards the Mollus like. Um it did touch that, right? Um and the novice phylactery. On my way. Okay, um then the summoning of the third, which will attack immediately, okay. Okay, that was that. Um, I'm ready. Well, this should be confusing. Off we go to combat. Sorry, focusing the right one. Okay. So I'm gonna make a little cut here and see you in a second. Okay, so there's a fourth one. Um. Thing. Yeah, I need to start off with the summoning font again. Yeah. Okay. The light. The fourth one is an Easter egg, apparently. Um, I don't think I've done the fourth one before. Um, touch the tome of split personages. Right all the way over there. Then the broader comes. Uncommon calling over there. Afterwards, the statue again. Of course. Afterwards, the grand best. Best theory. Then the common table carving spot. <laughs> it's funny how it's always back and forth, back and forth. Um, common table As carving you spot. Then the spiritum eternalis. I guess that's all right. Part of the joke. Um, the statue again. Then the Noah's phylactery, okay, um And so I shall. And now saving is advised. Um before summoning the fourth cycle which should be somewhere over here. Yeah. Okay, um so I'm gonna do that. And I need to get ready to pickpocket. This is rather awkward, what? I'm not supposed to be here. Uh, not right at all. Oh, this is rather awkward, what? I'm not supposed to be here. Uh, not right at all. Okay, so what did I steal from him? Um... It... Mage clothes, okay. Um... Okay, so... Uh, 
Ähm what does this have? What does is the joke all about? Um Easter egg. Okay, there's not really something written there. Okay, so that now that that's done, uh, I make a cut and return you to the normal video again. So I'll see you then. So now that we're in camp, let's talk with Bowden Fedek again. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. I want him to tell me the story for this part at least. Well, if you're really interested, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I am originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback Mountains. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. Go on. So, as I said, things were going well, but good things must come to an end. One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the dark spawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Nobles, they're touchy like that. Um. What happened then? Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I had been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. The Lost Tigs. They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. Better to, better to do something with them than leave them there to rot. That's exactly how I see it. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never look back. Fascinating story, thank you. You're quite welcome. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? Um, you never mentioned your son in your tale. Ah, yes. I'm married to a fine woman back in Denerum, it's true. She'd give me a son if she could, but uh, that's not likely to ever be. Sandal here. I found him in the deep roads years ago. Abandoned, I think. And he was never quite right in the head. I took him in, and I brought him with me when I came here to the surface. It may not be my blood, true. But I think of him as one. We left Orzammar. That's right, boy. Maybe one day we'll see it again. Blood isn't all that important. That's how I've always felt. As long as he's happy, so am I. It's not as if I don't benefit, mind you. Turns out the boy's a natural working with enchantments. He might have even been leery addled. I never thought of that before, to be honest. Happens sometimes. He can work an enchantment into just about anything, however, given some time. Could probably open his own shop, if he knew how. Enchantment. <laughs> well, he does seem to enjoy it, at least. Let me see your wares, Spartan. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Yeah, I'm gonna sell some stuff here. I'm gonna keep the crystals and take a look if I can already use them for something else. Mm. I need these. I'm gonna keep the better daggers. For the other swords, I don't think I need any so for now at least but I'm gonna keep the warden no I'm not gonna keep the la warden longsword and I'm not gonna keep arrows sell them all 
I saw the staffs down, they need good ones, apparently. Not that I'd ever use the helm, but let's see. Restriction mage, better fire damage, electricity damage. I guess I'm gonna take these then. Not that I have any electric spells so far, so I'm re so I don't think any of my members would need those. And those are for mages as well, yeah. Um, not that I will keep those on for too long, because at some moment I will go. I will switch to heavy armor. Mm, let's see. She doesn't have one electricity spell, but Morrigan does, right? She already probably already wears no she wears no gloves and no shoes. I could give her some shoes. Um That seems like a no. Okay, I don't have any shoes right now. Something you need? I'm sure either my boy or I can help you out. Okay, let's keep this up. Um heavy plate. I think I'll look at those, how they look like. Um, I don't need this, at least. No ropes, no headgear. Could give stuff like this to my dog, so I'm gonna keep those for a moment, at least. Selling all the amulets I don't need. Hmm. Memory band. I think I don't need this anymore. It's just it just blocks one spot. My inventory. Um. Okay. And I will sell the gift items I don't need. It should be everything except those. Um. Yeah. Those. What are they called again? Oh, I don't know. Anyways, I can give her the amulet of memories, right? Times one, so I, I've already given it to her. Okay. Um. Then let's see. A dog is too. Okay, the dog is there. Um. I do have a new thing for you. The color. Yes, indeed, it's better, and for Stan, let's see, he can wear the heavy plate. It's, it has style somehow, but I will keep him in the, uh, until I have a wheel set of this, I will keep him in this thing. Um, let's see, actually, Alistair mm -hmm. should be able to wear the... Templar thing by now. Yes, indeed, he is able to. Alistar in a Templar outfit, huh? Well. <laughs> okay, wow, well, no, um, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, I'm not too big of a fan of helmets anyway, so. Alistair's better off with the helm of only. I guess he could wear it. So my inventory isn't blocked. And how much strength does he have that that way? And actually I could give him an am amulet. Um Okay, let's see. Um his stats are strength of 29, so that's that. So it won't take much longer, okay. But I need some gloves. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. I'm sure... I... This will probably be the only time I will do some equipping on screen because, yeah.
because that's not really that cool. Um, let's see, is there anything else I want? The butterfly sword was then? No, I'm not gonna do this to him. And I don't want the temple helmet. Thank you very much. As for the heavy plate, do I have anything else with that weight class that I can assess from Bowden? Does not seem that way at least. Okay, um, so. So yeah, I, even though this is kind of weird, um, even though it is kind of weird, I'm gonna, guess I'm gonna, wait, the magic box, right, 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 I forgot about that, I want to put on in, in the, wait, I don't want to look at my plot items, I want to see everything. Wait, wasn't the magic box something I... Indeed, it was one of the DLC things I had. I didn't think I... It, I didn't think this worked, actually. That is weird. The magic box is meant for upgrading stuff. You, s you know, um... Of course. Anyways, let's see. The Circle of Magi stands ready to assist, Grey Warden, as do the Templars of the Chantry. Do you need anything? There are always areas to improve on, Grey Warden. The most useful for my talents are runes. Okay, supply crates. Turn in runes for the cycle. I guess I will give them those. It's not like I need those so far. Okay, um, I think those will be of use. Even later the on. Templars will be impressed by the powers you will command. Um, so yeah. I can upgrade my stuff later on, uh, thanks to the DLC box, the magic box, I guess. Um, so that's that. And I think let's actually, I'll actually have it end for this part. I know there's nothing, inter nothing interesting can hap happen in this part. I think it must have been quite the boring part two because there really wasn't anything it's just conversations the one um thing with the summonings and just a few restocking conversations so yeah um the next episode will cover stuff again except for if you watch the next uh, uh, the conversation video as the next video so that's that okay then I hope you enjoyed it anyways and um, that's it for this time so see you next time, bye.